to continue with that with that thread in the earlier thread, I mean, with with molecular biology stuff, I think that the main thing that creationists are not grasping is that they think that any functional protein in a biological system um, can can only have that very specific structure, which is just unbelievably and demonstrably false. Right. You 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 have a protein and they'll cite this is where they like to do the number game. Right. It's a one in one hundred and twenty trillion billion probability. OK. You are pretending that that structure for that protein is the only one that will that will allow it to function properly, which is insane. If you know anything about protein structure, you have a protein with hundreds and hundreds of amino acid residues. And you think that if this one nowhere near the active site changes from leucine to isoleucine, that it suddenly is not going to work anymore. That is going to have zero effect on the efficacy of the protein. You have a few really integral residues in the active site of an enzyme or a receptor. And if one of those changes, yeah, you're maybe it's not going to work anymore. But you have, I mean, it goes so far as like their polymerase enzymes or certain really cr crucial enzymes are, are have different, uh, have different uh, sequences in different biological organisms and they achieve the same task. So even within things that are currently alive, we know that that proteins do not have to have the same sequence to do the same task. But then think of all the possibilities. Take any enzyme and start playing with any residue you want. OK, this one right here could have been 14 out of the 20 residues and it won't change anything about the folding structure. This one over here could have been 18. Right. It doesn't. Most of the residues can have tremendous variability. It's only maybe five to 10 in the active site of something like an, en uh, an enzyme, where if you change that, it may have an effect on the efficacy of the enzyme. And it may not even make it completely uh, non-functional. It may make it a little less functional, a little more functional. So nature very clearly arrives at proteins that have some kind of function. And then those are retained uh, in, in an evolutionary context because the, then they're refined over time. So like the, the, the binding affinity over time, mutations will increase the binding affinity so that the enzyme becomes more and more uh, effective. But the, the, but the, the form was there. It got something that did something fairly well and then it hang, it hung on to it. And then that got better over a billion years. That's why we have enzymes today that that are that are admittedly highly efficient at that task that that enzyme is for. It it didn't nature didn't go here we go I got it right and the, these uh, these these enzymes these proteins they're they're changing over time.